Does Arma Reforger multiplayer confuse you? Did you buy it, get into a server, and have no idea where to start? Well, so did everyone else. Immersive military simulators such as Arma often have a huge learning curve and are near impossible to figure out on your own without investing upwards to 100 hours or being involved in a gaming community that is willing to hold your hand throughout the basics. Well, lucky for you, I myself have gone through this very same struggle with Arma Reforger and since have set out in search for a game mode that would allow me to learn the game at my own pace with pretty clear direction on how to get started. Not only does this game mode make it easy to learn the basics, but it's also loads of fun. With a sense of progression, a looting aspect, and money management, this game mode has hit the nail on the head in terms of simplifying your introduction to Armor Reforger. If Armor Reforger interests you, then maybe Arma 3 will as well. It's the previous addition to the franchise, dating back over a decade, but it's still holding its own in terms of an open military sandbox world. I can only hope Arma Reforger becomes as sandbox as Arma 3 has been for years. We also have a Discord community based on Arma 3 with a 24-7 dedicated server and a staff that prides themselves on helping people learn the ropes of the game. Although we aren't yet hosting Arma Reforger servers, we do hope to in the not so distant future, so feel free to join with the Discord link provided in the description below. Now on to the video. Welcome to today's video guys where I'm going to be showing you a really fun single player mode in Arma Reforger to help you get yourself on your feet because let's be honest when you boot this game up and you jump into a multiplayer session you're lost you're confused nobody wants to help you it's a lot and it can be discouraging and I know a lot of people put the game away in their Steam library to collect dust and I don't want to see that happen because this is a very promising game and I'd also like to add that if you did try this game out uh, months prior to 2024 you will uh, <clears throat> find that now it has been updated uh, quite a bit and they've actually released uh, version 1.0 and it's feeling a lot more crisp there are still some small bugs but it's feeling a lot better a lot more playable a lot more enjoyable so I want to make sure that you're not confused clicking through the menus looking at all these servers and mods and everything else that comes with the confusion of a military simulator and I'm going to streamline that for you and get the ball rolling so you can learn this game at your own pace in a single player campaign where you don't have to deal with any AI or anything alike. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to click over on the workshop and again, very intimidating, one of 52 pages of mods. It's a lot. Okay. Now up in the top, we're just going to type in simply overthrow and you're going to see a few options here. You're just going to download the first one. Okay. And that's going to simplify things here. So now that we have that downloaded, it's only like a 13 megabyte mod. It's really nothing. Uh, so don't let that intimidate you. We're going to click on scenarios and you're going to see overthrow in the list here. And we're just going to simply click play. Now, if you guys are familiar with Arma 3, you may know of the mod uh, called Anti-Stasi. And it's all about starting with nothing. Um, and basically starting a resistance against the local government. And in Anastasi, there's also um, invaders as well. So it's a 1v1v1, which is uh, pretty fun. But I, basically, it's a dynamic, um, it's a dynamic free-for-all um, simulation of guerrilla warfare versus government. And it's pretty neat because you start with absolutely nothing. Um, so you actually have to loot, you have to steal, you have to earn, you have to do all the things to just build up your economy. And um, the best part about it is the whole world is actually working dynamically. Um, things can change. And based, basically what you do is going to alter um, the whole game as a whole. This is the kind of game mode that you're going to start now. You're going to save it and you're going to be coming back to it days and days, maybe weeks, maybe even months um, playing the same save file like it's got a very nice sense of progression um, uh, there's a dynamic economy and I could talk all day but I just want to show you guys how to get started on it and uh, teach you guys I guess basically showcase it but also teach you guys how to earn your first dollars how to buy your first weapons how to you know um, acquire a little bit of gear because even that can be confusing to somebody new to the Arma um, franchise just kind of dropping in and trying to figure it out on their own it can be very frustrating so we want to basically we're going to be um we're going to be the, we're going to, I guess we're, we're not either of these, uh, we're a guerrilla resistance, but let's just say the occupying is us because I like the weapons that us would drop, right? 
So you spawn into your invisible house. Uh, yeah, the textures take a minute in Armor Reforger. At least they do on, on my system. So basically you're going to plop in and this is your house. Um, I have a car parked in the garage and a handgun in my pants. The enemies will consider you a civilian if they don't see you carrying a weapon and will not shoot you. So be careful when equipping your weapon around them. Uh, also, it is has a GTA feel um, to it in a sense of there is a wanted level. Um, you'll see it come up in the top corner there. Um, there's actually a lot of things in this that make it feel like GTA. Oh, I like my red shoes. That's nice. Let's see, uh, There's a lot of things that actually um, are GTA-esque. It says press U to bring up your overthrow menu. So this is a very important menu. It's going to give you the ability to find jobs, um, to look at your resistance stats. We'll look at that a little later. Um, you can fast travel to certain locations. I think if you own a house or if you own a property, or I think if a town is... Um, completely joined your resistance then then um, you can you can go there you can buy homes you can rent out your homes for extra money like there's a lot you can do um, and we're only going to scratch the surface just to like I said just to get the ball rolling for you so we need to find the garage that is not it, it looks like a garage but there's no garage door apparently I have a vehicle in my garage this looks like it here uh, yes Oh, I got the red Jeep to match my freaking red Jeep to match my shoes. I wish it wasn't. I wish I had a top on it, though. Is it possible to put a top on it? I don't know how to do that. It's raining out. We're going to drive this around. Whatever. All right. So first thing we do, we're going to get in the truck. We're going to fire it up. I really like how they made all this interactive. Fire that up. You can put the lights on, hazard lights, but we're not going to do that. But that, that's just kind of neat. Uh, okay, so first thing you want to do is bring up the map and figure out where you are. Now, wherever your house is, is going to be randomly generated. Um, mine is actually right in a town, which is actually very convenient because there's a few missions we can do to earn a little bit of money directly in this town. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. So if you bring up the U menu and you're going to want to click jobs and we want to find a gun dealer, 50 bucks. Well, lucky for us, there's a gun dealer right next door to us. So we're going to accept that mission. And we want to, we're in the, the town of Monty, Montiganac. Uh, so we're going to, sorry if I butchered that. Um, we are going to accept that, obviously, and try to raise some support here, make a few more dollars. And lo and behold, we got another mission in Montiganac. And uh, we're going to need to find a shop for an extra 50 bucks. Also, very easy. Honestly, we probably don't even need to bring, to bring the truck. But, oh God, it's just, the garage just goes into my backyard. Uh, can I get onto the road here? Yes. Oh, this is not my driveway. There's no way. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Okay. All right. So let's see where we are exactly. Uh, we went the wrong way. So we need to go to this shop to make 50 bucks and we need to go to that gun shop to make 50 bucks. So we're going to go ahead. No, I went the right way. We're going to go ahead and do that now. We'll go over to the shop first and I'll show you the kind of stuff that they have there. I'd like to apologize for my mechanical keyboard. I know you probably hear me clicky clacking like crazy and I promise you I am working at getting a new keyboard um, that isn't mechanical for the sake of these videos. As much as I love this keyboard, I absolutely love it. Full RGB, you can change every color of every key. It's a three quarter keyboard, so that is a downfall. I guess it doesn't have the numpad, but uh, it is uh, it is a brick of a keyboard and I absolutely love it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. For you guys, because I know it's not the best thing to listen to for these videos. Uh, okay, so let's run into the store. Da, 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 da. And we're going to open up the shop. So this is the kind of stuff you can buy here. You can buy binoculars, a medic kit. Um, ooh, backpack. I don't want to spend any money yet because we are broke as a joke. Um, a wristwatch would probably be handy. But a lot of, a lot of stuff... Um, early on in the game, you're just going to want to steal. So don't bother buying anything. Um, <clears throat> how come I didn't make 50 bucks for that? What's up with that? That is the store. Find a shop. I did find a shop. Many towns and map of various shops. We can purchase legal items. Uh, type of shop. This is a near shop suit. I am excuse me. Okay, well, it's probably just, it's probably going to happen. You, you watch, I'll get, I'll get, uh, some money okay <clears throat> we are going to touch base on something right now because if you see up in the corner i'm getting very low frames and the game actually does not look good at all um this is a fresh um install of arma so i'm going to take this moment just to tweak a couple settings here that may or may not help 
uh, you guys. There's a couple things that we don't need that really eat up FPS. Uh, like this here only needs to be on low. Depth of field quality, none. Ambient occlusion doesn't affect, so we'll turn that up. I don't think this... Oh, that will definitely affect it. We'll put that on low. Contact shadows, off. Uh, that's a frame <clears throat> a frame killer there. And the foliage smoothing is a frame killer, so you can turn that off. Uh, model geometric. I like that it shows you the FPS up in the top, and it insta-changes it, so you can kind of mess with this stuff. You can turn that on low, the draw distance, that's fine. We're going to turn this back to... Turn that to none. Texture detail, that's a big one. That's the big one there. That's going to hurt us. So I'm just going to actually put that on low for the sake of this. And also where I'm screen recording, it's really eaten into my frames. And you know what? My computer is not amazing. I'm only running an i5-8600 and I think a 1060 GPU. So there's really not a lot uh, happening here. Grass quality, they're just going to put that on the lowest. Grass draw distance 100. Shadow quality, man, these are all cranked right up. Distance shadows. Turn that down. Render target format, that doesn't seem to really affect much. And the environment quality, I think, does affect quite a bit, if I'm correct. It's, yes, it does. That's a big one, yeah. Okay, so already we're looking much, much better uh, in terms of in terms of FPS. Let's see if there's anything I can kind of give a little extra to. See, that, didn't, that actually didn't hurt at all. And let me just check the anti-aliasing. Yeah, that doesn't actually hurt me either. Oh, it does. Yes, it does. It dropped almost 10 frames. So we're going to leave that to none. Okay, that's good. And there's one other thing I want to change in the controls. I would like to make sure that we have... Uh, what is it? It's an under character. There's a view. We want the, the view toggle. I think it's under actually common. View, here we go. Focus, nope, free look, nope, 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 nope. Perspective. I would like to change that to work with that button. It's on my mouse. I like having that one as a quick one. But ah, there we go. All right. <clears throat> so, did we get our 100 bucks? No, we didn't get our 50 bucks yet for some reason. I definitely found the shop. Maybe I just gotta really go in it. Geez, these shelves are really bare. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a much better frame right now. And the game, in my opinion, actually looks better, too, after making those changes. Okay, well, we'll skip that, and we're going to head over to the gun dealer. That could just be a bug. I know I just said that the game's not that buggy, but it still does have a few little issues, so don't sweat the small stuff. So now we are going to go to the gun shop. If you hold shift, you really put your foot down on the pedal, by the way. Uh, gun shop is going to take a right and just stick to it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see. Gun shop should be right up here. I like that my house is actually right in the town. That's cool. This should be an easy town to, to uh, convince them to, to roll with us. Alright, where are we at here? Oh, it's around the bend. Around the bend. One thing I like about this, you see him like working the clutch and everything in the... Arma has such a have fine attention to detail. I love it. And like the getting out stuff, I love that too. I really love it. Okay, we left it running. Uh, oh, there, I got my 50 bucks. There it is. Okay. You can see we're at 150 now. So now there should be a gun dealer in here somewhere. There you are. What's up, my friend? Now, here we go. So we can buy some different things from him. Uh, you see the guns are pretty expensive. We're going to avoid buying any guns early in the game because we can steal them. And I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you which mission you want to do first. Um, also, if you see that they have weed, he has one at a 34 in stock. We are going to buy that because I'm going to show you how you can make a couple dollars real easy right in town. So we have the weed. Uh, we should be making another $50 for that whenever the game catches up to us. Now, <clears throat> once you have drugs, 
you just want to drive around the town until you see somebody standing around. And so far, every person I've tried to sell drugs to was happy to buy it. So I don't know what's going on around these parts, but they um, like to get high. So we're going to capitalize on that and we're going to sell a little. There's someone right there. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Would you like some of the finest sticky icky in all the land? I'll give you a really good deal. Uh, <clears throat> I tried to convert him to the resistance and he's not interested, but I can sell him drugs. There, look at that. 183 bucks. So I just made uh, $33. Just like that. Uh, actually, I made more than that because it, it did. It cost me. It only cost me 142. So you can do the math. I made more than that. Okay, so we're already on our way to making some money. Now we need some gear. So let's see if we have a job come up. There's no job yet. Oh, that's that's weird, eh? It's still showing that it's in progress. There's definitely a glitch there. There's no job yet about getting money. Uh, or sorry, about the mission I'm looking for. So the best way to get more missions is to just travel. Okay, so we're just going to go up to another town. We can go to that town or we could keep going all the way up. Uh, we'll probably just go. Now, we'll probably keep going all the way up because if there's no good mission in this town, it gives us another one close by. I don't want to get off the beaten path. It can get a little bit annoying. So we're just going to hammer down. I got the shift key held so I am burning extra fuel there's my fuel gauge there uh, and of course in Arma if you already don't know all the gauges work everything functions the way it should which I really like currently I have no compass I can't tell what direction I'm going and I have no watch so I can't tell the time of day but um, the fun thing about this game mode um, apart from the multiplayer game modes that I've played so far, I can't speak on all of them, is that you can actually see your icon on the map, uh, which is very helpful because part of the issue when you go into the multiplayer game and you're like, okay, I'm in the game, cool, where am I? <laughs> and you bring up the map and it does not show you where you are. So <clears throat> you, unless you actually know where you are, it is very, very difficult to get the ball rolling. I'm learning how to ask for help and certain people will help you, but a lot of people won't, unfortunately, especially where this game caters to a lot of console players. Um, there's not a lot of offered help um, like there is in um, some of the older Arma games, such as Arma 3. Uh, oh, okay, where are we at here? Where are we at? Okay, we're getting close to Tyrone. Also, uh, I would like to add that we do have a Discord server, and we love helping people the whole uh, premise of the discord server um, is to we welcome new people and we answer questions and all we ask is that you pay it forward when the next person asks and we have a growing community that has been blowing up very very quickly um, we even have our own dedicated server now for arma 3 where we host anti stasi 24 7 and we are getting into hosting more ops uh, within arma 3 now this is me kind of introducing myself to arma reforger and um, I'm hoping we can kind of do the same thing with that. So stick around or join the Discord server if you like. And uh, I'm sure Armor Reforger is going to be in there soon. And maybe we might have a dedicated server for Armor Reforger as well as Armor 3. So like I said, stick around for that. There'll be a Discord link in the description below. But now back to business. We know we are in the town of Tyrone. And we do have a mission here in Tyrone, which makes things simple. So we're going to do that. And we're going to accept. Now this is just um, raise support. So raising support is easy. I think it takes a few minutes for it to actually happen get to this menu here here we go it, it doesn't happen right away but if you accept the mission you can now press u and you can click place and it'll give you an option to place these these uh, resistance join the revolution pamphlets and i just hang them around town wherever wherever i don't i don't know if it really matters i try to spread them out a bit i don't i don't know if that matters either um, but I think you can do five of them in one town. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We got our best running shoes on. I got my running t-shirt on. So we're going to go ahead and put up some resistance signs. What's that three? I don't know. I'm, I don't want to go too far. I don't want to, cause I want to move on to the next town and do the next thing. So I also like it when they actually like stick on to stuff. Good. I mean, I could just stick it on there, but I think that looks kind of dumb. So. Put on trash can now. 
stick it on this guy's house. He won't mind. Okay, there. Uh, oh, now I can do more. Oh, bulletin board. Yes, we want it on the bulletin board. I'm just going to try to do two here. Why not? No, that's it. So once you're out, it won't allow you anymore. You just press escape, and we're well on our way. Let's see, this guy wants to join the resistance. Spinny was not interested. I've never actually been able to get somebody to do that yet, unfortunately. Okay, so we've done that. What's the next town? The next town is Mo. Uh, Mo has a shop. Um, Mo has... I don't know what that that red thing is yet. It has a church. Oh, there's a gas station there. And there's some real estate that you can buy, which I know... I'm not even going to attempt because I know we can't afford it. Uh, but let's see if there's any jobs in Mo. Raise support. There is. So we're going to do that. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Here's the mission I was looking for, guys. It's a high-paying mission, and you guys can do it at the beginning of the game. I've already done one um, when I was testing out this game mode, and it went off without a hitch. So we're going to go ahead and do that um, right now. That's in Gravette. Is, where are we at? Uh, we'll have to see where Gravette is, but we're going to accept that because that's, that's the mission we're looking for now. Gravette is down here. Is it the one we drove by? It is. Okay, so we're going back. Uh, yep, we're going back. This is it, guys. This is, excuse me, sir. I don't want to run you over. This is the mission that I was looking for. And this is how you get started in Overthrow on Armor Reforger. This is excellent. So we're going to hightail it back. Got the lights. Oh, I just turned them off. Got the lights on. Heck yeah. Wish this rain would stop, though. I'm getting wet out here. I would love to see this game like with maxed out graphics. Like I said, well, obviously you saw my video settings. My graphics are toned way down, and the game actually still looks really nice, um, running at 40 FPS. But um, I do hope to upgrade my computer soon because it is an eight-year-old build. It is absolutely time, and I'm making these videos for you guys quite regularly. If you follow the channel, you'll know I'm making them very regularly now. Um, I think it's time we do a little upgrade and make sure that I can give you guys the best quality possible. Alright. Uh -huh. I guess this uh, this game too also has like a DayZ style um, game. I, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of DayZ before, but again, very loot based. Arma, it, it was, you know, an Arma game to begin with. And um, this one has one, I think, I was kind of browsing through some of the multiplayer servers. I didn't want to get too into um, downloading a bunch of mods and getting into that stuff. So I kind of just, you know what, we're going to take the dirt road. So I kind of just um, <clears throat> hovered past it. But it was really, really neat to see the, the insane amount of community support with the modding and uh, how it works. Like you can get any kind of gun, any kind of vehicle. Like I know this is kind of World War II-esque, um, but this game offers much much more than that i can promise you that um and i mean just look at the suspension like the leaf springs working and stuff like they did a really good job with the driving in this game i actually um flew a helicopter earlier today too ooh, 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 that see that felt pretty real if i'm honest um i was flying a helicopter earlier today and it felt very very good i was highly highly impressed uh, the only thing that they don't have yet is HOTAS support, which I was quite disappointed, but I'm sure they'll implement it. And also there's plenty of apps out there you can get that you can um, map um, your HOTAS to the in-game controls. Um, not a big deal. It's like I said, it's very, very possible. I wouldn't stress too much about it. Okay, so now we've entered the town where the mission is. We need to find... Is that our guy? No, that's just a civilian. We need to find basically a place that has, it'll probably, like, I think when I did it last time, there was only two soldiers, but there's going to be a place here that has soldiers surrounding it. And I just found it. It's right there. So that means that he's inside that house. So I'm undercover right now. Uh, I see there's an eye up on the side there. I think that means that they can see me. So there's one soldier, there's the second. Ooh, they got M4s, helmets. Oh my god, that scared me. I thought he was picking up his gun to shoot me. Uh, these guys are pretty decked out. I hope there's only two, because all we have is a handgun. This isn't sketchy or anything. I'm just like sketchily friggin' driving up on them here. 
We're just going to park right here, I think. And we are probably going to leave it running because we may have to leave in a hurry. I don't know. Uh, huh. I think my best bet's going to be to go around. The oh, jeez. Where'd he go? He sucked right in the door. Well, it seems to me like that guy's the guy we need to take out then. If that... Oh, he's back out again. Okay, so there doesn't look like there's going to be an easy way to do this. Unless I can get in behind the... I think i got to try to get behind the building. That's what we're going to do. The idea is I only have a pistol, so I need to take out one. And then I'd like to try to get his weapon before taking on the second guy. That might not pan out. Um, it might not pan out. So we're just going to hope for the best. Like I said, we're going to leave this thing running. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. We don't want to pull the pistol out. We're just, you know, just uh, walking around here. If you if you want to know how to walk, it's the scroll wheel. You can turn the scroll wheel down or crank it up. And that's how you can do that kind of stuff. And if you, the third person is a little bit of a cheat, um, I'm only going to use it because I need to make sure that I don't die on this demonstration. But it is a little cheaty to be able to like look over fences. There was a guy in the backyard too. Uh huh. He might be. He might be our target. Uh, that might be actually be the guy from out front. Actually, now that I'm, I'm looking. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna make sure there's nobody else. He went back. Okay, so now's our chance. We're gonna open up our inventory uh, tab for your inventory. And you're gonna have a pistol here, and you're gonna put it in the slot. So now we are equipped, and the three key is your sidearm. So we now are locked and loaded, and he is right there. I need to try to get him and get his gear before that other guy can back him up. I wish it was an, like, I have to jump over the fence is the only thing, and that's going to take time, which makes me nervous. Okay. I don't want to walk by the hole in the fence because I have a gun now. <laughs> he may see me. We're just going to, we're going to play this one patient. We're going to play it patient. We're going to play it smart. Uh, see, I don't want to get in a face-to-face -face combat with them either. I'm going to use this opportunity to run past. Oh, I can get in this way, though. He might be in there. Should I try? Should I open it? He's not in there. Okay. See, they're probably going to engage me now, regardless, if I'm in the vicinity. If I'm too close to what they're doing. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Got him. Get his gun. Get his gun. Get his gun. Come on. Get his gun. Oh, come on. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Not doing that. Where's he at? In the window. Oh, they're throwing, throwing grenades at me now, I see. Where's he at? Ooh, he's throwing grenades where he last saw me. Okay, so I need to be very careful. We're going to change the rate of fire to single shot because I don't want the three round burst. That is the V key, the victor key. Okay. Oh, hello. Please die. Oh my god. That's a powerful gun. Here's the problem, though. I don't have any other mags. Come on. Come on, come on. Give me your stuff. Vest. Uh, yep, give me. I need your pants, too. Actually, they don't have much in them that I need. Just take that. Okay. Okay. We're getting geared up now, boys. I think there's a guy inside. Unless that was him. That might have been him. That might have been him. 
<gasps> oh no! 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 <laughs> that is unfortunate. I am back at my house with no vehicle. Oh, it's not that far away. It's not that far away. But I don't have anything. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. This always happens when you shoot a video. It's always the way it goes. <laughs> always the way it goes. I, and I don't... Oh, gosh. <sighs> I guess the only real option is to run back there. All right. Well. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to... Uh, Next time you see me, I'll be out of breath and back there to hopefully pick up one of those guns or maybe loot my own kit and continue with that mission, make our 600 bucks. And I tell you, we are going to load up the Jeep full of M4s. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, guys, I would like to add that when I was not recording, I was up like 15 extra FPS. It was actually running quite nice, but okay, we're back. Now, uh, what's that guy doing? I need to try to get some, is it still a mission? I need to make sure the mission is still in progress. Okay, it is. So that means that that guy is still in there and the guy that I need to kill, assassinate, is still in there. I'm just gonna rob this guy's stuff. So I, you can't take your stuff off until, um, it's empty, I think. I don't want to get rid of my shoes. I like the shoes. I'll keep the shoes. But I will take the helmet. And I will take the gun, obviously. Because that's what I'm going to need here. Okay. Oh, God. I hope this doesn't happen again. Uh -huh. So he's in there. There's my nice dead cell. scared. Very scared. Make sure he's dead. Keep clearing. He's also a gun dealer, apparently. But he has nothing. He's the guy we need to assassinate. Okay, mission complete. I just need to check to make sure there's no other soldiers. I think we're good. I feel a lot better now. Is that one last guy? We were so close to. Okay, so now we want to take their gear and their equipment. So we're going to take all the stuff out of his pants. Wait, what's bloody on me? I think it's my, my jacket. Let's see if this guy has a nicer jacket here. Less blood on it, maybe. With the vest. Oh, yeah, there we go. No, that's still bloody. That's all right. Uh, watch. See, you can sell stuff, too. As far as I understand, you can sell this kind of stuff. So I seem to be out of space there for magazines. Okay, what do I have that I don't need? What is this? That's a radio. I do need that. I can probably... I'd rather the mags than a watch. Uh, tourniquet, okay. Okay, we're not going to worry about the entrenchment tool. Why, can I not take them? What? Gimme. Am I out of, I must, I'm just straight up out of space. What if I get rid of this? Oh, give me one more. Okay, well, I got some mags. Wait now. Can I take, can I take this too? Oh, jeez, there we go. Now we're good. Could probably even throw the friggin... No, I can't. Okay, so now, essentially, we need to get all these supplies. It looks like comfy. Ugh. <laughs> uh, into the truck. Get all these supplies into the truck. So let's just go ahead and open up the trunk. I know there's a... There it is. Oh, come on. Where is it? Oh, no, no. That's, a, that's annoying. Okay. Um, we're going to drop 
pretty much all this stuff. I'm just going to drop it all in. Including my shoes, because I'm going to go back and... I'm going to go back and get the boots. Come on, start, old girl. There we go. Excellent. Pull up here. Just leave it running. It's fine. And we're going to start taking this stuff. Give me that. Take the stuff that I looted earlier. Including the pistol. And what do I have in the top? What's that? Ooh, that's another radio. That's a big radio. Short range. See, I don't really know what the point of that stuff... Like, you can play this multiplayer as well. Um, it's co-op. I'm not sure how many players can be in it, but um, it's probably what the radios would be for, doing that kind of stuff. Okay, so we'll access the trunk. We're going to dump in, again, all this stuff. Just fill the truck right up. Everything. Take it all. And we'll go and load up the next kit here. What's this guy have? Oh, he's got nothing. Useless. Yoink. Yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Okay, that's it. In here, we have one more guy outside, and I think there's still a guy in the back. Okay, so the first time I did this, to, to, like, to, to, I, I need to try this out to test this video before I did it. And when I did it, and I did this mission, there was two guys. It was much easier. So just be aware there could be many more than two, or there might only be two. So just be weary of that. Well, you don't want to join the resistance? Is it because I don't have any clothes on? <laughs> Alright. Figured he'd be eager to join after seeing me take care of these guys. Now, I don't know. They, I don't know if they send reinforcements. I haven't experienced any of that yet. But this video was just intended to get you guys moving. Um, get some gear into your belt. I mean, look at all this gear we have now. And we don't even... Okay, I think the truck's full. Oh, that's got a sight on it. Let's pull that out. Oh, nice. I love the picture in picture. It looks so good. Um, yeah, the whole intention was just to get the ball rolling for you guys. Um, in no way was it meant to be a walkthrough on the game mode. It's just, it's, I just wanted to show you guys how to get moving, get some gear, and just kind of start having fun. So there's, you know, lots you can do. I'm only collecting this stuff because I'm going to... I'm going to um, <laughs> run this save file um, for my own personal enjoyment because it is it is quite fun. I love the looting aspect of things like this. But now you can essentially take this stuff back home or you could take it, I think, to... I could take... You know what? Maybe we'll test that real quick. We'll take it to a gun shop. Oops, that is... Yeah, sure. Once around the James block. Once around, once around the block, James. <laughs> God. Uh, I think we should go to a gun store and see what we can sell because I know there's a gun store close to home So we may as well Now there's all kinds of little points here like there's these radar towers you can go check those out I don't know what you can do with them yet, but there is a little bit of resistance there anything with a red circle it's obviously has resistance like the military bases are a big one I would say probably quite difficult to capture um, If you get involved with any of those the airport is probably where I'm gonna be heading um, when I'm ready to capture my first base, I'll want to take the airport so I can fly my ass around. See, there's like a seaport. There's a, not sure what that is, medical or something. Oh, truck store. Yes. I was hoping there'd be one of those. Uh, clothing store. That's cool. Real estate, equipment store, all kinds of fun stuff. So, but let's, let's, um, let's rip it back to the, is this the right direction? Uphill. Yeah, we're going to rip it back towards the uh, home base there. Let's see if we can sell some of this stuff. See what kind of money we can make. Because some of the guns and stuff you can buy are like full tactical. You can buy stocks. You can buy sights. You can buy uh, magazines. You can pretty much build your gun however you like. Um, as tactical or as tactical uncool as you, just as, as your heart contents. 
Um, I think different gun stores carry different weapons as well. Um, that's something else we're testing, but I don't want to take up too much of your time in this video. We've already been going for a good length of time. That's about time to wrap it up. We're just going to end off with getting up this hill and ch uh, checking out the gun shop. <sighs> yes, so anyway, it's nice to have money in the bank. 758 bucks. I know when I first played, I really didn't know what to do or where to go. and I was doing a bunch of those support jobs and I was making pennies and then I tried to do um, one of the reconnaissance jobs, which only paid 230, and I got lit up as soon as I got anywhere near the base, and I had two stars, like they wanted me dead. So I pulled the plug on that, and then that trader one, it was for $600, I was like, oh, there's no way. And then I said to myself, I was like, well, I'm making a video today, I gotta try it out, what have I got to lose, you know, other than everything I worked for? And I just went for it, and uh, it was way easier than I thought, and I, I wrapped up my, my test playthrough there, and I said, okay, I'm ready to make this video and, and uh, you know, have a little bit of knowledge to, to share with you guys uh, about how to get going on this. Uh, okay, we're in town again. Skirt! Go find the gun shop. I think I remember where it is. One thing I hope they implement um, when they get outside of the beta is just, like, more action, like maybe some civilians driving around, like, stuff like that. I've yet to see any civilian vehicles. It's only been military and uh, myself. Is this the right way? I think so. Yeah, I think it's up here around the bend. Skirt! Right here. Alright, sir. Uh, stop, please. Uh, I would like to turn off said vehicle. There we go. Okay. I don't really want to sell the one with the site because I do like it, but it's all good. We're gonna we're gonna sell everything. I think just we're gonna try anyway. Uh, how do I sell though? Buy. How do I sell? Is there a way? Maybe it has to be on the ground in front of them. Let's try dropping it. Uh, doesn't seem to be a sell option. I also don't see the M4. Okay, well maybe... Maybe you, you can't sell it. Let me pick that back up. Give me that. Why is it unavailable? Equip it. There we go. Oh, because it, I it was trying to put it in my backpack and I don't have the space. Okay, well, let's go down to the equipment store because I'm pretty sure I remember seeing things be able to sell there. Maybe you just can't sell stolen weapons because that would be... It'd be too easy. It'd be too easy. You'd make so much money, I bet. I like how my bloody sleeves match the friggin' uh, UAZ or whatever you want to call this thing. I think it's a UAZ. Uh, is that the store? Where's the store? No, it's down the corner. Right here. We'll see if we can sell off some stuff here. Probably shouldn't have my gun out running around town, but you know. Oh yeah, sell. See? Sell. So, I see the problem is I don't know what I have. That I have wristwatches. Oh, see? Yeah, I got some money for that. So I guess you just kind of got to know what you have. Which is a little uh, broken. It's a little bit annoying. What did I pick up? I picked up tourniquets. So, a couple of those. I picked up some maps. Ooh, I might have just sold all the maps. I better buy one back. Uh, any of these wristwatches? No. Tourniquets red? No. Bandages. I have a bunch of those. Oh! I'm sorry. That was not intentional. Uh, okay, so there's another store right around the corner for equipment, and I bet you I could sell some stuff there. Uh, it is. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, shoot. It's actually up here. Full throttle in reverse. That sounds really bad on the transmission. 
Skirt. Uh, right here. Oh, I found a shop. I guess this is the shop it wanted me to find. Uh, yes. Open shop. Okay, what can we sell here? I know we have one of these. Uh, I know we have a compass. I'm just trying to sell everything at this point. I know we have some of these radios. Oh, yeah, they're worth good money. Uh... I had one of these too, but I think I left it behind. Trenching tool. Oh, I had a couple of those. Fuel containers. What else we got? Have this old looking compass. Actually. Okay, that's everything I had. But let me check to see if I have more in the truck. I, we need to. I need like some sort of loot crate back at my house. I wonder if that's actually a thing. Be something worth looking into. Uh, so I want to grab just equipment. Equipment. Things I can sell. Things I can sell. Uh, the watch. Extra mat. Flashlight. That's it, I think. Oh, is there more stuff? No, that's it. Um, okay, sell that stuff, make our money, save the game, wrap up the video. Sounds like a plan. Okay, sell that. Compass, what else do we have? Was there a wristwatch? Yeah. Uh, we didn't have that radio, it was that one. Did I have more entrenching tools? Yep. I think that was it. That's it. That's it, guys. We made 1600 bucks. It only took like a half hour, and we made $1,600. So it just goes to show um, how you can get the ball rolling, like I said. And now you can do maybe harder missions, right? So uh, the reconnaissance, that's the one I was saying was a little difficult. Um, now visit nearby base to determine the strength of its defenses. You will need to get within 100 meters of the base to get a good look at it. I'm guessing if you were to complete that, maybe that would open up, you know, maybe some missions where you got to go in and steal something i don't know but i'd really like to get like some of their assets um i know that's a big thing in anastasi for arma 3 is stealing assets and clearly they have them so i don't know what that is mind you but and like what's that thing what is that i don't know what that icon is so anyway that's it, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you. Again, if you want to join the Discord community, um, we are full of help doing stuff like this. We aren't actually hosting Armor Reforger just yet, but I think we're going to in the future. Currently, we are um, strictly Armor 3, uh, which is also a blast. And if you think that a 10-year-old game can't be fun, I challenge you to watch some of my other videos, and I will prove you otherwise. And not only that, but that game goes 80% off sale on Steam every other week it seems so don't buy a full price just have a look and put it on your wish list and pick it up for pennies i think it goes on sale for like ten dollars canadian or something like that so it's pretty cheap uh anyway thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one peace out